Privacy and Security Brainiacs is pleased to provide you with our HIPAA Enforcement Summary for the fourth quarter of 2020. Since HIPAA penalties started being applied in April 2003 through December 31, 2020, there has been a total of 93 HIPAA money penalty cases, and there has been a total of $129,758,482 for all HIPAA penalties applied. Eight HIPAA noncompliance fines and penalties were applied in the fourth quarter of 2020. Seven were for HIPAA noncompliance discovered by complaints from individuals. One was for three different PHI breaches from one entity that involved HIPAA noncompliance violations. All eight were covered entities. In addition to the monetary penalties, each entity was required to implement comprehensive corrective action plans and up to two years of monitoring by HHS. The fourth quarter 2020 fines for all eight entities totaled $1,603,400. Next, we will look at summaries for each of the eight entities against whom penalties were applied by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, or HHS, Office of Civil Rights, OCR. Dignity Health, doing business as St. Joseph's Hospital and Medical Center, or SJHMC, is a covered entity located in Phoenix, Arizona. Their penalty amount was $160,000. This was given because they violated HIPAA requirements by not providing access to a parent's multiple requests for her minor son's patient records. Then, when PHI was finally provided, SJHMC did not send all the requested records. This is the eighth penalty applied to an entity for violating the right of access requirements under the HIPAA privacy rule. New York Spine Medicine is a covered entity located in New York City. Their penalty amount was $100,000. They violated HIPAA requirements by not providing access to a patient's PHI after multiple requests starting in June of 2019. The request was for specific sets of medical records. After the patient submitted a complaint to the HHS, the HHS OCR directed New York Spine to provide the patient with the requested records. But as of publication of the settlement, New York Spine had still not complied. This is the ninth penalty that has been applied to an entity for violating the right of access requirements under the HIPAA privacy rule. Aetna Life and the affiliated covered entity is located in most U.S. states and territories. Their penalty amount was $1 million. The penalty was for numbers of individuals involved in three separate breaches. In one breach, two web services used to display plan-related documents to health plan members allowed documents to be accessible without login credentials. The associated PHI was subsequently indexed by internet search engines. Up to 5,002 individuals' PHI data was involved. In another breach, benefit notices were mailed to members using window envelopes. The notation, quote, HIV medication, end quote, could be seen through the envelope's windows below the members' names and addresses. Up to 11,887 individuals' data was involved in this breach. 
In the third additional breach, a research study mailing was sent to Aetna plan members participating in the research containing the name and logo of the atrial fibrillation study on the outside of the envelope. Up to 1,600 individuals' data was involved. Additional factors in determining the penalty involved non-compliance with multiple HIPAA security rule and privacy rule requirements. New Haven Health Department, or NHHD, is a covered entity located in New Haven, Connecticut. Their penalty amount was $202,400 for a breach involving 498 individuals' PHI data. Here's an overview of the NHHD breach. Eight days after termination, a former NHHD employee returned to the health department, logged into her old computer with her still active username and password, and downloaded onto a USB drive PHI including patient names, addresses, dates of birth, race, ethnicity, gender, and sexually transmitted disease test results. She then shared her user ID and password with an intern who continued to use the login credentials to access PHI on NHHD's network. Riverside Psychiatric Medical Group, or RPMG, is a covered entity located in Riverside, California. Their penalty amount was $25,000 for a HIPAA violation. They violated HIPAA by not providing access to a patient's PHI after the multiple requests starting March 2019, and they did not provide a written denial explaining why they refused to give access. After the patient submitted a complaint, the HHS OCR contacted RPMG and directed them to provide the patient with the requested PHI. But as of publication of this settlement, RPMG had still not complied. This is the 10th penalty applied against an entity for violating the right of access requirements under the HIPAA privacy rule. Dr. Rajendra Bhavani is a private practitioner covered entity located in Regal Park, New York. Dr. Bhavani's penalty amount was $15,000 for HIPAA violations. Dr. Bhavani violated HIPAA by not providing access to a patient's PHI after the patient's multiple requests starting July 2018 and Dr. Bhavani did not provide a written denial explaining why he refused to give access. After the patient submitted a complaint, the HHS OCR contacted Dr. Bhavani and directed him to provide the patient with the requested records, but Dr. Bhavani did not comply with this request. Dr. Bhavani also failed to cooperate with OCR's complaint investigation. This is the 11th penalty applied against an entity for violating the right of access requirements under the HIPAA privacy rule. The University of Cincinnati Medical Center, or UCMC, is a covered entity located in the greater Cincinnati, Ohio area. Their penalty amount was $65,000 for HIPAA non-compliance violations. UCMC violated HIPAA by not responding in a timely manner to a patient's request to send electronic copies of the patient's health records to a third party. The patient made the request on February 22, 2019, The records were not provided to the third party until August 7, 2019. This is the 12th penalty applied against an entity for violating the right of access requirements under the HIPAA privacy rule. 
Elite Primary Care is a covered entity located in Georgia. Their penalty was $36,000. Elite Primary Care violated HIPAA by not responding in a timely manner to a patient's request for access to his medical records. The patient made the request in April 2019. HHS OCR directed Elite Primary Care to provide the records to the patient as requested, but they did not. So the patient submitted another complaint. The records were not provided to the patient until May of 2020. This is the 13th penalty that has been applied against an entity for violating the right of access requirements under the HIPAA privacy rule. We hope you found this summary of the fourth quarter 2020 HIPAA penalties and sanctions useful. Privacy and Security Brainiacs provides a free ebook with this information. They also provide other free training videos. For more in-depth training, Privacy and Security Brainiacs asks you to consider our HIPAA training modules and other information security, privacy, and compliance training modules. Each module has an associated quiz, a certificate for each person taking the training, and a business admin account to track the training for all the employees. See our website or get in touch with us using info at privacysecuritybrainiacs.com for more information. Also, please check out our growing number of free training modules covering a wide range of topics.